In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to install the templates that Elegant Themes is giving away for their Cyber Monday sale coming up. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Mac and in today's video, it's all about installing the templates that Elegant Themes is giving away for their Cyber Monday promotion. So uh, before I continue, I'd also like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, you also get access to my web design formula course, a complete course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All right, so let's go through and see what we have here. So as you can see here, we have 21 days to go. So you want to make sure that you uh, purchase Divi and uh, get these templates for free and also my course for free. All you have to do is to use my affiliate link in the video description below and you will get access to it. All right, so what you want to do once you've uh, purchased Divi is to log into your account. So here I have already have an account. So I'm just going to click on my account details here and this is going to take us to my members area. So here we have this link which says Cyber Monday perks. This is what we want to go to because this is where all the information is. So we also have these products here on sale. So as you can see, we have 50% discount, 30% and so on. But what we are mostly interested in here are the free landing page and uh, theme builder templates. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and uh, just do a quick preview, but we are going to open this in a new tab. So as you can see here, we have the landing pages and these ones look very, very professionally designed. I really love this. So like I said, we're going to focus here on these templates. So I'm going to click here on view the demo and this is going to give us an idea of what this looks like. So we have this landing one. And this is what we are taking a look at right now. In my opinion, this one here is a bit too busy. I prefer this landing two. So now that we're on landing two, you can see here, these are all the options that we have on our landing pages. I love this one here. It's clean and it looks really, really nice. I like the colors as well. All right, so now that we have an idea of what these look like, what we're going to do now is to go ahead and download them. Okay, so I'm going to go back here to my account, click on account details, and then I'm going to go to my Cyber Monday perks. And then I'm going to scroll down here and download the pack. So I'm going to click here on download the pack. And this now is going to download onto my computer just like that. All right. So the next step now is to go to our website, which is uh, right here. So normally when you log in, you are going to be here on your dashboard. And of course, before you install these templates, you want to make sure that you have downloaded and installed Divi. All right. So I'm going to scroll all the way down here to the bottom and then hover over here where it says Divi and click on theme builder. All right. So the next step now is to click here on portability. These two arrows here, you're going to click on that and then click on the import tab. Now I'm going to find my files that I've just downloaded. So I'm going to click here on finder. And as you can see, this is where all my files were downloaded. I mean, I went ahead and downloaded this, but I had already downloaded it uh, the first time. So the pack that I'm interested in here is pack number three. So when you open it up, in fact, let me show you more. So when you open it up, you have all these pages here. So you can either use these page one, these pages one by one, or you can just download all of them. Now I prefer just installing all the templates and then disable what I don't like. So what we're going to do now is to target the old templates file, drag it over here and let go. Click on import theme builder templates. Now, this is going to import all the templates that we need for our page. And then once that's imported, we can then go in and customize it the way we want. And this is the power now of using these templates because it takes away the time you're going to uh, design all these pages one by one and uh, just use a very good starting point. Now, I really like uh, this way or this workflow of uh, designing websites because it cuts out all the necessary steps that you need to uh, build everything from scratch. Okay, so now that everything has been installed, we can see here we have our header and footer and this is our global. That means this is how our header on our site is going to look like. So what we're going to do now is to open our website in a new tab and take a look at what it looks like before we save these changes. So as you can see, we have a default uh, header here. If I go all the way to the bottom, you can see here, 
you know, we have a, you know, basically a default footer. And if I go now to my blog post, we notice that, you know, pretty much everything is really boring. Now notice what happens when I go in and click on save to save all these templates and see the transformation. So now that I've saved everything, if I come back here and just refresh this blog post, notice what happens. Our blog post now has transformed and it's looking much, much better. Now, what I'm going to do now is to choose a blog post which has an image because this one here doesn't have an image. So that's why it's not looking great. So I'm going to go back here and go to, let's say, post one. Now, this one here has an image. Now, it's important that you have all your featured images in place because as you can see, this looks much, much better now with my featured image. So and as I scroll here, you can see we have these beautiful titles. We also have the description here and our image in place. And we also have these promotions. All right. So now that we have this massive transformation that has just happened on our site as a result of adding our template, this is a very good starting point. So now let me show you how to go in and customize this. Okay. So if you wanted to customize this, what you want to do, or in fact, you know what? We have two options here, by the way. We have... Um, the first one here, or we have this one here as well. So these are two separate designs. So what I can do here is I can just disable this by removing it on all posts and then clicking on save. And then I'm going to come over here now to post two and activate post two for all the posts. So now that it's activated, what I'm going to do now is to click on save. So post two now is going to be applied to my design. So I'm going to come back over here and hit refresh and notice what happens. So as you can see, this is a new design. And just by activating that uh, template, this has now changed our layout and this is looking really, really nice. Okay. But the main change happened over here. And of course we have the title here as well inside this big image. All right. So now that we've uh, made that change, there's also a few things that you may want to take a look at here. I've already gone ahead and installed WooCommerce on this website. So over here now, I'm going to do a quick preview of one of my products and it is this one here. So we're going to click on it and see what it's going to look like now that we've uh, activated the products. So as you can see here, this is beautiful. We can see my product here in this area. And when we scroll down, we also have this discount part. We also have the related products. We also have the reviews. And then finally, we have our footer. Okay, so let's say we want to go in and really customize this and make it look like our own. Why don't we start now with our blog post? So I'm going to click here on this gear icon to go into my settings. All right, so now that we have the builder open, what we may want to do is to make some changes to our layout and parts of our design here. So the first thing I'm going to take a look at here is my module settings, and this is the post title settings. So what you can do is you can change your text. So here, let's start off with our text, and this is the main title text. So we have our font here. So let's say you want to use a totally different font. You can just do that. And now, as you can see, we've changed this to Monster Rat. So once you're done with that, you can save. You can also play around with some colors if you wanted to, and just pretty much change the colors of your design. So I'm going to leave this as it is and hit save. Now, the idea of these steps that I'm taking, I'm taking you through is to just show you how you can quickly go in and make your changes. Now, the same thing applies over here. You can go in and change these uh, headings. You can change the colors as well. So if you want to come over here and, you know, change that heading, you're going to notice that wherever we have heading one, we're going to have a totally different color. Now, moving on, we also have these images here. So you can also go in and uh, change the images. And then over here, now this part here, when I when I looked at it earlier on, most of you are probably not going to need this because you may not be uh, selling anything on your website or you may not have a promotion. Now, let me show you an easy way to disable this without actually deleting it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to go into my section settings, click on advanced, and then what you want to do is to click here on visibility. So where it says disable on, you want to disable on phone, tablet, and desktop. Okay, hit save. Now, what's going to happen now is when I go to my website, you are not going to see this or any user for, for that matter will not see uh, this 
on your website because we've just disabled it on all the three devices. So when it's time now for your promotion, you can just go in and activate it and pretty much you are back and you can start running this again. So I've just disabled this and um, over here we also have related posts. I think this looks okay and the comments also look fine. Right, so once we are happy with this uh, change, all we have to do now is to save it. So I'm going to click here on the expand settings and then I'm just going to click on save and that's just below my image there. Okay, great. So now that this is saved, I'm going to close out of here. And if I go now to post one and refresh, notice what's going to happen now. First of all, our title here has changed to Monster Rat. I know it's a slight change, but when we scroll down, you see that part which had that countdown and offer, it's now gone and now we have this beautiful footer. Now, another area that we may need to make some changes to here is this image because, of course, this image may not apply to your design. So let's go ahead and change that. So again, I'm going to click on my global footer. And the beauty of doing it this way is when you make changes to the global footer, the changes are applied pretty much across the whole website. And this is really, really, really cool. All right, so back over here. The first thing we're going to do is to get rid of this image. Okay, I'm just going to delete that because I don't want the image. So I can see also here in the background, we have uh, some sort of shape. Now you may, you may not be a fan of this, but if you wanted to get rid of it, it is right here. Okay, this is where you get rid of it. And also, once we delete it, you can see now we pretty much have a white background, but that's not what we want. We want a color there in the background. So what you can do is to click here on the bucket tool and then click on the color here. So this now becomes our color. OK, so what you can also do is to play around here with the shades and see which color you know you want to really dial in here. So let's say you want to go with a really dark color like that. Around that dark blue, that could work. I'm going to hit save. And now you can see that my footer has now changed. Now let's again save this and then see what it's going to look like once everything is all saved. So I've saved that. I'm going to close out of here. And before I save everything, you can see right now we have this image here. So if I come back and, ref and save all changes, and then refresh this page, you're going to notice that this image now is going to have disappeared. There we go. So the image has disappeared now. All I have is a solid color. So this is where now you can go in and add other links. You can just duplicate this, add other links here to uh, make your footer even much, much better. All right, so we also have another page, which is a 404 page. And this is the page that people go to when uh, the page on your website does not exist. So I'm just going to put a page that doesn't exist here and see what happens. So this should take us to our pre-designed 404 page. There we go. So now this is our 404 page. And as you can see here, it says, take me home. So if you click here, this will go to the home page. Now, the beauty of this is you can also go in and change this image. Now, let me show you how to do that. So back over here, all we need to do is to locate our 404 page, which is right here. So what we're going to do now is to click on this pencil icon and it's going to take us to the builder. And if you not, if you haven't noticed, everything that I'm doing here is all in the builder. Okay, so it's, you're going to be familiar with uh, the theme builder because everything that I'm doing here, I mean, pretty much we've learned it when we use Divi. All right, so let's go ahead now and change our background image. So I'm going to click here on background, and this is the image that we have. So let's say I want to use my own image. I can just click on that, and then I'm going to scroll here and see if I have a decent enough image to add in there. Okay, so you want to make sure the image is large enough as well, because if it's not, it's not going to look great. Okay, so let's keep looking. We really need uh, an image which is nice and big. You know what? I think I am going to use, I'll go ahead and use this one right here. Click upload an image. And now you can see my image has been added in the background. So that's looking great. Now, let's say this image here is way too bright for your liking. What you can do is you can come over here and add a color just like that. And then back on the image here, what you can do is you can change your blending mode. And let's say we're going to change this to uh, say screen. 
actually that hasn't made any difference so let's go to overlay right so overlay works really well because it makes everything dark but if you go back over here now to the color if you drag the slider down it starts revealing what's in the background so we're just going to reveal a little bit of this but uh, the color that we're going to choose is going to be a really dark blue so i'm going to bring this all the way down here so it matches with our design there we go so i'm going to go with that all right so that's looking really nice we have a beautiful contrast here as well so i'm going to save this save this one more time and now if i come to this page or in fact we need to uh, close out of here save and exit and then i'm going to save changes all right now when we refresh this you're going to notice that this image now has changed there we go so now we have our own custom image so as you can see all we have to do now uh, after we've installed our templates is to just go in and change a few things but pretty much all the changes we're doing are site-wide they're going to be applied pretty much across the whole website so this 404 page is a page which all your users will see once they go to a page which doesn't exist on your site or even a broken link so it's very very powerful now also when it comes to the headers and footers all you need to do now is to go in change the colors change the fonts and this has saved you a lot of work as you can imagine if you're going to design all of this from scratch making sure it's mobile friendly and it looks great on all mobile devices this would have taken you probably a day or two but with using these templates you can just pretty much go in and make a few adjustments and you are ready to go. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.